So finally, I've literally just woken up, by the way. I've literally, look at the state of my puffy eyes, man. I ain't even had a shower. I ain't even brushed my hair. I haven't brushed my teeth. I fully just got up. My phone's gone nuts. And I was like, finally. So yeah, um, I was still up at five o'clock this morning uploading a video. <laughs> but yeah, he's finally gone, man. Only Arsenal could wait till Black Friday to sack a manager. Um, it's just hilarious. And and this just, I, I don't understand why we didn't sack him weeks ago. I don't understand that. Um, I know a lot of Arsenal fans didn't want Jose Mourinho, but this should have happened weeks ago and we should have got him. That I, I just don't understand what has taken so long for this guy to be sacked. It's our worst run of um, games since 92. I was 10. I had a better hairline back then as well. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, he's finally gone. I am absolutely buzzing that he's gone. I'm so happy. Um, listen, when he came in, I was happy that he was manager. It weren't my choice. It wasn't my pick. My first pick. I wanted Ancelotti when when Emery went, and um, and yeah, he came in, and I thought, you know what? Let me back it. I'm going to back it for the whole year. Give him a free pass, a free hit. But he should have gone. Looking back at it now, after the Europa League final, he should have just gone, and the club bottled it. Uh, Lee to be sacked today. I rather I need to go back to sleep. <laughs> I swear, um, coffee needed all day. Trust me. But um, yeah, looking back here, he should have been sacked after the Europa League final. And they they said Raúl and Vinay said the objective was Champions League football that season. Um, we didn't get Champions League football that season. So why didn't he get sacked? And Raul obviously watched my stream last night because I said if he ain't sacked by midday, then he can do one as well. So, yeah, he obviously watched the stream and took action. Um, he obviously seen my Instagram calling him a pile of muncher. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, um, it's, a good, it's a good day. It is a good day. And um, I think that, I think that um, hopefully, hopefully Freddie does all right. Hopefully Freddie does all right. I think, um, I think Freddie's going to take charge for a couple of, um, well, for a couple of days at least. But um, but Nuno Espirito Santo is the hot favourite. He's um he's spot on. Uh, Ching 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 says Lee Sauce was right all along. Well, yeah, it just didn't happen at the right time, did it? But yeah, he did get sacked. He did go to Spain as well. He did go to Spain. I know he went to Spain. Um, but it's only two hours on a plane, so maybe he come back. Well, he did come back, but should have been done on the international break. Says Emma. Well, that's the thing, right? At the end of the day. Um, this should have happened after the Palace or the Leicester game. And um, all we've done in that time is lose out on one of the most successful managers, whether you like him or not. His track record speaks for itself. So now who do we get? We've got a choice of Allegri. Um, Sky Sports are reporting that we're in for Allegri. I'm underwhelmed by that. I can't even lie. I don't think he's that great. Yeah, I genuinely don't think he's that great. Um, we're in for a hot favourite, Nuno Espirito Santo. Um, I'm more excited about him than I would be about Allegri. I actually think he's decent. But I, I don't know. All, all this shows is that I am going to go back to sleep, Omar. <laughs> Stay at my eyes, man. I'm probably puffy-eyed. Yeah, but um, but yeah, all this shows is that um, the, the board have finally got their own way over Raul St. Haley because there's no way that it could have continued. There was no way it should have continued after the Palace game. But Raul dug his claws in and kept him in a job for another few games. And guess what? We didn't win any of them. And it's just, it's kind of embarrassing. A lot of people are saying they want Pochettino. Not for me. Not for me. Um, I don't want him. The reason I don't want Pochettino is because if he wasn't good enough in the end for that lot and they fought in and see that he weren't good enough in the end, don't forget he left them 14th in the league which is saying that a lot of you guys say about Jose, oh, look at what Jose did in his last season at United. Well, look at what Poch has done in his last season at, at Spurs. He got on 14th. So I don't want him. If he ain't good enough for that lot and we want to be seen to be a bigger club, yeah, and everyone thinks we're bigger than Tottenham, why do we want their cast-off manager? No, thanks. Not for me. Not for me. I would have took Jose just like that. That is exactly what we needed at this club. An absolute arsehole to come in and shake all these players about yeah, and get everyone hating us, get everyone siege mentality. The club wouldn't have been too big for him because he's managed bigger. But the the board, well, not the board, but Raul sat there dithering, sat there 
um, digging his claws in saying, no, we'll keep him in a job. It's kind of sad how it's gone because when he first came in, <coughs> when he first came in, he'd actually done all right. Um, we went on an unbeaten run for 22 games and, um, and yeah, it was it was looking like it was going in the right direction. Fulham away, everyone's singing, we've got our Arsenal back. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. It's just it's just gone so wonky ever since. It's just mad. It's just crazy. And the last eight games of last season, um, that should have been the alarm bells ringing. For me, I just thought, okay, they've switched off. They want to win the Europa League, yeah. Um, which they shouldn't have. They, sh- they shouldn't have switched off the players. And the manager's got to take some sort of responsibility for that as well. Right. But then when you get battered, um, when you get battered in the Europa League final, that at that point, that should be right, you're done. You've lost the last eight games or not won in the last eight games or whatever. Um, you're done. They then give him 140 million. So I go, cool, we're back him again. Let's back him until Christmas. And as soon as he got to that Palace game, I was like, nah, 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 nah. Enough is enough. And we've won seven out of the last 21 league games. Ozil is the real winner here. Well, that's a good point, actually. Thanks for your donation, buddy. Um, that is a that is a very good point. Um, Ozil has outlasted the manager. <laughs> Whether he can outlast the next one, no that remains to be seen. Um, you don't have to spam the chat, bruv. I'll read it. You just don't have to keep copying and pasting, mate. Otherwise, I'll just get muted. I've been watching you, your videos non-stop recently. Bruv, stop, stop hammering the chat, bruv. Come on. Um, fucking on this with my coffee. Um, been watching your videos non-stop. You're an absolute legend. Thank you. I'm not a legend, mate. I've got puffy eyes. I ain't even brushed my hair. I ain't even had a shower. I literally just got straight up and put this Mac on because my phone has just gone nuts. And yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a good day. It is a good day. Um, you're not a big club anymore. Leicester has climbed above you in business and financial wise. Arsenal fans have no right to slag Poch off. Well, Leicester, that's complete rubbish, mate. They're above us in the league. Go and have a look at their income. It's nowhere near Arsenal's and never will be. But they are playing good football. Um, and I have got every right to slag Pochettino off. He's won absolutely nothing in his whole career. And he got sacked from Tottenham. And we're a bigger club than Tottenham. So I don't want him. <coughs> I'm going to knock on your door. Hey, that was funny, bruv. That was, that was too funny. Um, that was well funny, man. Early Christmas gifts of shape. Hey, listen, everyone's buzzing with this, man. Please drive the likes up. For over 1,200 people watching this live as we speak. Um, only 106 likes. So thank you very much for everyone watching. I'm going to keep this going. In fact, let me go on Arsenal's website and read out what they said. Let's have a look. So I haven't seen any of this. Literally, I got up and set this stream up. Do you think the dressing room is better now after Unai's departure? Should we sell Socrates too or get a replacement for him? He's been terrible. Uh, thank you, Mark, for your donation, buddy. Um, from sunny Australia. Um, I think that some of them players are a disgrace, if I'm being honest, mate, because they have down tools, yeah? And and they've got no credit in the bank. Turkish had it right the other day. Um, they've got no credit in the bank to be able to down tools and get away with it. Yeah, what have they won? Yeah, at least when Chelsea done it, they had credit in the bank with trophies. It's like they won nothing, mate. Yeah, and I think they're a disgrace, some of them. Not all of them. You can see which ones are trying every week. But the majority of them, can all go with him because they're not good enough and they're taking the mick. I mean, last night, I thought Xhaka was man of the match. Not that anyone will agree, yeah, because it's Granite Xhaka. But I actually think he was man of the match last night. I thought he played well. But, <coughs> but yeah, there we go. Um, right, let's read this. Let's have a look at this club statement. We announced that a decision has been taken to part company with the head coach. That's the best news on a Friday, I swear to God. That's the best news to wake up to as well. Um, you are late. Yes, I've just woken up. For anybody who's joined late, I literally was uploading a video, that daily transfer video I've done this morning. I was uploading that and it took until about five o'clock this morning. Your channel's dead. <laughs> yeah, good one, mate. There's 1,400 plus people watching, 31,000 subscribers and seven and a half million views in a year. So, yeah, if that's dead... Good luck in the future for me, then. <laughs> Thank you for watching, princess. <laughs> good evening. Uh, it is a good evening. It is a very good evening. When Bring Wenger back like the Real Madrid did with Zidane. No thank you, Amin. No thank you. Good afternoon to you, Wilson. Hope you're good, mate. 
I am buzzing, man. I am buzzing. Should we go and get Nuno? Well, that's 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 who the hot favourite is for the job. And um, I do think he's going to be the manager. Like, obviously, I did my video the other day. My source told me that, yeah, Emery's getting sacked. Um, he's, he's back in Spain. He was back in Spain. Um, that's why the players had two days off. <coughs> he probably already knew that he'd been sacked. Um, hence why they didn't take training for two days. And he just came back to get some bits sorted out. I don't know. Um, but if Nuno Espirito Santo is the next Arsenal manager, then I might recall my source back after I sacked him. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll take Nuno. I, I think I think he'd do well for us. Like People are sitting in my chat last night saying, oh, but he just bottled a 3-1 lead. But Rafa Benitez got slapped up by a Chinese team last night. 5-0, I think, wasn't it? Was it 5-0? Something like that. Um, so yeah. Why haven't you been on AFTV? Bruv, I get asked this every single stream. I don't know if you can see the sunshine through that curtain there. I live in Spain, bruv, so unless they're paying for my flight back, I ain't going to be on it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Suck yourself. No, I'm good, bruv. <laughs> I swear to God. We need a tough CDM, says Musi. Yes, we do. Uh, it was 5-1 they lost last night. Well, there you go. Every manager loses football matches, like just because just because um, you know Nuno Espirito Santo drew free 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 from a free one lead last night doesn't mean he's a crap manager because of one game. Look at what he's done over the last two three years, yeah. And you know I think that the ball the ball at this football club have been weak and spineless for a long long time, right? A very long time. And the fact that it's took a, a worst run of games for. 27 years to sack him is a joke it's an absolute joke you know the the, the performances have been dead since the back end of last season and like i said they should have sacked him after the europa league final angelotti is the hot favorite i'm not too sure about that but i'll take him i would take him and the thing and the thing is as well is that literally at this point anybody would do better than what what we were doing Right, but that shouldn't be the benchmark to take this job. This job is too big for a lot of these people linked to it. It's way too big for Arteta. Don't want that geezer anywhere near us. My man couldn't even get in the team as captain. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? And we're gonna we're gonna offer him a job, yeah, as, as the manager. What? Because he's Pep's bitch. No thanks. No thanks. That guy's got nothing to warrant being Arsenal manager. Yeah, we're not a project. We should never be a project. We're too big a club to be a project. And yeah, he might be a good coach. Go and learn your trade somewhere else and then come back in five years. Let's, let's see how you're doing. The coach at Monaco was a great coach when he won the league title and everyone jizzed their knickers over him and said, oh, let's get the Monaco coach. Yeah. And then once they once he nearly got relegated and he got sacked, yeah, nobody wants him anymore. Yeah. It's all reactionary. It's all, you know, Ten Hag's the, the flavour of the month now. The guy bottled a 3-0 lead to Tottenham. Yeah. He bottled a 4-1 lead to Chelsea the other week. Don't want that guy anywhere near us, man. No, thank you. He might play decent football. There's something flawed in his system. How can you bottle two uh, two games where you're winning by three goals with less than half an hour to go in each of them, and and not win either game? I don't I don't understand. Like, you know, Nigelsman never never done nothing. What's he done? Don't want him. We don't need people like that. Eddie Howe, no thanks. Big fish in a small pond. Yeah. I don't want these types of managers. Pochettino never won nothing, got potted from that lot. Not for us. Not good enough. Patrick Vieira, not for me, buddy. Not for me. I don't want any ex-player. I don't want any ex-player. Look at what that look at what Man United are doing right now. They got bantered off in Kazakhstan by Borat. Yeah. And some of their fans will sit there and back Ole Gunnar Solskjaer because he's a legend. Yeah. Their results are worse than under Jose, who they hounded out. Do you know what I mean? And that's why I don't want a, a, a legend at this club managing it. Because if the results don't um, don't change, then the fan base are just going to back it for the sake of him being a legend. No, we're not a project. Yeah? Go and get a proven manager that's done it, won it, and got the T-shirt. Uh, thank you, Jared. On a day sesh to celebrate, definitely get in a bag. <laughs> Pick up yourself, Ralph. <laughs> <coughs> A lot of people are saying Brendan Rogers in this chat as well. Um, again, I don't want him either. I don't want him. Bottled a league title at Liverpool, won in a one-team league, and um, is a big fish in a small pond at Leicester. So he's doing fantastic. Don't get me wrong, yeah? And Jordy's going to be fuming now. 
But um, listen, he's doing very well at Leicester, but I don't want him. He had he had the best front three in the league and bottled a title from about seven points clear as well with about three, four games to go. Nah, not for me. Not for me. I, I want a Simeone. That's my first choice. Yeah, that's who I want. I wanted Jose. That didn't happen because Raul is a fraud and um, he didn't sack the manager when he should have sacked the manager. Um, so yeah, now we've not got him, go and get Simeone. And for everyone who goes, oh, well, he won't come to us, he won't come to us, phone him up and offer him £20 million a year and watch how quick he gets on the next flight. Yeah? We'll pay you £20 million a year, bruv. Come and save the club. Yeah? And trust me, walk into that dressing room, <coughs> Mesut Ozil would fully crap himself, Hector Bellerin would crap himself, he'd rip that little earring out of his ear, yeah, straight away and tell him fix up and stop chatting shit on social media and start playing football. Granite Xhaka, Listen, fair play. He done all right last night, but he shouldn't be here. And I don't want to ever see him in an Arsenal shirt again. Yeah. And it's a disgrace how that whole thing got handled in the first place. Because if he was a proper manager, Emery, that guy would never play for this club again. And he played last night. Yes, he done well, but he had to do well. Right. And it, and it, again, it was a weak decision to play him in that game because they knew the attendance would be dead. So he'd get less heat. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's why they played him. Why didn't he play at Leicester away? Oh, I'm not ready to play, he said. Weak. I don't want him. I don't want to see him here again, man. Uh, thank you, Mark, for your donation, buddy. I think the structure and management is a disgrace. Look at Liverpool. When they first signed Klopp, Klopp gets to buy his players, but we don't. But there you go. Listen, I, I said, <coughs> when you've got a £72 million um, uh, bench warmer, it's like, why did we spend £72 million on him? Why, did, why didn't we just go and spend that on a, a centre-back? I don't understand it because he don't play him. It's like... We're not Man City. We can't afford to have £70 million players sat on the bench. They have to be starting. Yeah, and you know, I've seen a lot of people in the chat as well saying, Cronky out, Cronky this, Cronky that. Let's not forget, yeah? Let's just not forget here. We've got the, the most expensive front four in the league. Yeah? We've outspent Liverpool by double in, in net spend in the last five years. Yeah? And look at the team they've got. Yeah, so it's easy to say about that. That's cool. I get why people say it. But at the same time, We've spent a hell of a lot of money, a hell of a lot of money. And it's not down to him that the players are crap. <laughs> Let's be real. Um, Ten Hag lost a couple of big games, yes, but he has been great. Uh, thank you, Saad um, Abdullah. Thank you, bruv, um, for that donation. Um, listen, he's been great in a league that's dead. That, that's my point. And like, they, they played very well in the, um, the Champions League, don't get me wrong. But when the pressure was on and they were 3-0 up and they've had a, a better squad, um, than they've got this season. Yeah, they're delicted at centre-back. As soon as they throw on Lorente, their whole system just went, wow, and folded. Worse than we fold. That's why I don't want him. There's something wrong with that guy's system. Yeah, and it happened again at Chelsea the other week. Yes, I know they were down to nine men or whatever, but with 15 minutes to go, you're four one up. You should never draw that game. Yeah? Cheers for answering my question. You're welcome, bruv. Don't worry. Have a good day, mate. It's a good, it is a good day, actually. It's a very good day. Um, yeah, it is a very good day. Pepe will tear it up now, says Adam. Liverpool aren't the example to anyone. They've never won a Premier League, says Rick. <laughs> well, listen, we've never won a Champions League, bruv. So I know what I'd take right now. Um, so, yeah, the Spanish League is dead. Well, the Spanish League might be dead, but if you, if you look at what Simeone's done in that league, he's broken up the dominance of the two, yeah? Because Atletico Madrid finished above Real Madrid last season. Atletico Madrid should have won the Champions League a few seasons back when Sergio Ramos scored in stoppage time. They were 1-0 up and should have won that. And then Gareth Bale scored and then the rest was history. Ronaldo flexing again. But, but he has done a massive job at Atletico Madrid. And on hardly any money at the time. I know they've spent a lot of money out recently. Um, but when he, when he started breaking that dominance up, don't forget he won a league title with him as well. Yeah, Atletico Madrid won the league with Simeone. Yeah, and they get a fraction of the money that Real Madrid and Athletic um, and Barcelona get for TV rights. It's, they don't work the same as it does here, where it's split between everyone. The top two get the mo most of the money; the rest get nothing. Yeah, it's, it's mad. Um, is Rafa not a bad shout for Arsenal? Says Stephen. Thanks for your donation, mate. Appreciate that. Um, I'd like, I'd like Rafa. I'd, I think he'd do a fantastic job. He knows the league. Um, he's, he's done well with it. I remember, his, like I said, I remember his first game for Chelsea and they all booed him. Signs up, Rafa out, not our manager. They weren't booing him at the end of the season when he won them the Europa League and the FA Cup. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, 
you know, he, he's he's actually a very good coach, a very good coach. Um, and yeah, he's um, he's in China earning that big money. <coughs> and they got slapped five one last night. His team um, do drive the likes up three hundred nearly, and there's nearly nineteen hundred people watching this. Fully follow the social medias; they're in the description, um, Insta and Facebook. We'll carry this on for another five minutes or so, and then I'm going to go and have a shower and wake myself up properly. <laughs> it's mad. I can't believe I woke up. My phone just gone nuts since I was just like, ping, it's gone mad. But yeah, he has been sacked. I'm buzzing. I'm absolutely buzzing. Um, all of his staff have gone as well. And um, yeah, Freddie's taking control for now. So um, yeah, we see what happens. We see we see where we go from here. Obviously, Nuno Espirito Santo is the favourite. Um, that's that could still happen. Um, Brightson Thomas, thanks for your donation, bruv. Anyone comes in should stop playing out from the back. Couldn't agree more, mate. Couldn't agree more. All this playing out from the back is a load of crap, mate. And um, the players aren't comfortable with it because he's picking. He was picking the wrong players. Why are you? Why are you passing the ball to Socrates at his feet? The geezer's is a donkey, man. Yeah. Thank you, Finley. Thank you, mate, for your donation, bud. Um, Allegri is your next manager, one hundred percent. Well, listen, I, I'd take him, but that's underwhelming. Yeah, that's underwhelming. It, it, he's done it in a one-team league with the best team in the league that spend the most money in the league. Um, so yeah, not for me. Ten Hag is ideal, i.e., style and youth development. Thank you, Chris. Um, I just don't rate him, man. I, I, I don't rate him. Um, I don't rate him at all. But listen, anybody who comes in, unless it's Arteta, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, unless it's Arteta, I think I'll back it anyway. But the point and the fact of the matter is, well, no, Poch I ain't, I ain't backing Poch either. No, I don't want him. But the fact of the matter is that we should be going out there tapping up Simeone right now. They should have already done it. Yeah. And anyone who says he ain't coming, go and throw as much money at him as you want. If you want Saint, go and pay for it. Yeah. Pay Atletico Madrid the compensation and pay him and his staff 20 million quid a year. You will get one of the best coaches in world football. <laughs> Ozil outlasted Emery. He did, Shay. He did, mate. Thank you for that, bruv. Um, Arsenal are just Everton with a big stadium. I swear, bruv, yeah, you're a proper mouthy for a Leicester fan. <laughs> like, but there's nothing I can say. <laughs> like, literally nothing I can say right now. Arteta has got Wenger ball. Well, Arteta's a, a bitch, bruv. He, he's Pep's bitch. Well, I don't get it. I don't get why anyone thinks that that guy would be a good coach for us. He's never managed a football team in his life. He weren't even a great player and he couldn't even get in our team as captain. It's like, just because he sits next to Pep, don't make him qualified to be a football coach. You know, like, and if he is a good coach, we'll go and prove that in a, in a team lower down and work your way up to Arsenal. Yeah, this this infatuation with him, I don't get I, I it. They're not a dig at you. I'm just saying, mate, like, I just don't understand why anyone thinks that Arteta is the right guy to manage this football club. What has he ever done? Like, it's like giving it to one of you guys in the chat. Oh, yeah, there you go, bro. You'd be manager now. No, like, he couldn't even get in the team as captain of Arsenal Football Club. He should never have been captain of Arsenal Football Club. That was a disgrace in itself. By Henry Staff, do you mean his translator? Uh, good evening. Thank you for that, Stephen. <laughs> Stephen. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's it's mad. It's I. It's actually crazy. Diego is too negative, says Mikey. Well, listen, he might be negative, bruv, but it's better than getting slapped every week, isn't it? I'd take a defensive manager right now. And um, ah, here he is, the Spurs fan. Let me ask you the question now, bruv. Spurs thirteen. After two games of uh, Jose Mourinho, and you saying in, in my chat before it got announced that you didn't want him. Have you changed your mind yet? Or are you still Jose out? <laughs> Quoted by the man himself, Pochettino said this, I'd rather work on a farm than manage Arsenal. Very similar to how Jose Mourinho said he'd never managed Tottenham. There you go. Money talks and bullshit walks. Not that I want him, but let me, yeah, I'll, I'll answer the question, brother. Are you still Jose out? Um... Ancelotti, Allegri and Benitez says they say, yeah, mate, I'll take any of them. I'll take any of them. But Allegri, like I said, I'm, I'm underwhelmed if we get in, mate. Simeone in, if you want entertainment, go to the cinema, says Pratik. There you go. Well said, mate. It's a results business, not an entertainment business. There's no God-given right to go to a game and be entertained. 
Bro, if you've put this question in there a million times, but it's the most off-key question, yeah? Ray Parler or Petit? All right, come on, bro. What kind of question is that? Uh, thank you, Jack, for your generous donation, buddy. Have a lovely weekend in Australia. Where's this Spurs fan hiding? He ain't answering my question. Come on. You still Jose out after two games? Because I know you didn't want him. Answer the question. Come on. We don't want Poch. Exactly. Just the face I wanted to see. Good to see you smile, Lee. The sun is shining. Lee is smiling. What a way to start the weekend. Um, yeah, I'm smiling, mate. I am knackered. My eyes are still puffy, you know. Look, literally rolled out of bed, put my Mac on after my phone just pinged up with text messages. And everyone going, wake up, he's been sacked, he's been sacked. So, yeah, I'm buzzing, man. Thanks for that. I appreciate that, mate. Um, let's read a couple more of these, and I'm going to go. Too much player power. Don't think there would be any improvement to you. Um, well, that's a very, um, very good question, Sadiq E. Um, yeah, it, there is a lot of player power in, in football now, right? And the thing is, yeah, like I said about five, ten minutes ago, a lot of them players are an absolute disgrace. Lazy git. I'm not a lazy git, Paul. I'm going to ring you back when I'm done as well, yeah? Um, but yeah, they're, um, them players are a disgrace. Not all of them. Don't get me wrong. Not all of them, yeah? Um, Tierney definitely tries every time he plays. Every time he plays. Callum Chambers tries every time he plays. He's just not good enough. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure about Jose yet. It seems to. <laughs> I told you you'd change your tune, bruv. <coughs> we can't be a guinea pig for our Tetter CV, says Rickon. Thank you, mate. I do, I do agree. I do agree. And, and our Tetter's not going to walk in and get the respect of half of that squad. Yeah, because he was a dead footballer. He weren't even that good. Yeah. And like I said, that squad the majority of them can jog on as well, yeah? Because they're not good enough and they've took the li liberties out of us fans, yeah? Liberties. Like I said, Chambers and Tierney, every game, they put their work rate in. Every single game. Guendouzi, work rate every time. Joe Willock, work rate every time. Whether they pl play well or not, they still put themselves about, yeah? Some of them players, I mean, Aubameyang and Lacazette the other week, yeah? Just literally strolling around the pitch. Like, just strolling around against Crystal Palace. Go and watch the, the Zaha penalty. Yeah, and they're passing it out from the back, doing little triangles, tippy tappy football. They're not even pressing; they're just standing there looking at each other. Yeah, one long ball, five seconds later, it's a hard penalty. But because it's Lacquer and Abba, you're not allowed to slag them off. Well, I am. Yeah, not good enough on certain games, and they've done it for a long time now. And nobody ever calls them out there because they're the, the goal scorers. But if Mustafi did that, or Xhaka did that, or anybody else did that, it's they'd get called out. Yeah, and I, I just think that like we need a manager to come in like Simeone, like a Jose. I know that can't happen now. That would come in, commands respect, and drops all of these players if they don't play well, and just goes, no, I'll play a load of kids in, or I'll play this, or I'll do that. Yeah, or I'll kick the fuck out of you in the dressing room, or something like that. I don't know, but by getting a manager, this this is a big, big decision for Arsenal now because we can't be going through manager after manager after manager. I mean, look at Man United. Yeah, and they've still got a glorified PE teacher in charge getting bantered off by Borat in, in Kazakhstan last night. Yeah, and they ain't going to sack him. They won't sack him because he's a club legend. Yeah, that's Man United Football Club. <laughs> and they're worse than us. And <clears throat> We've been crap. And that's why you need somebody big to manage a big club. And by getting somebody that's not big, you get exactly what's just happened to us and what's happening to Man United. Uh, thank you, Jonga82. Mourinho was a crap player as well. Don't compare coaching with playing. Omri was a good player. But no, you've got a good point there. Very good point. But at the same time, um, when Arteta has, has proved himself in terms of managing and coaching a, a full team rather than sitting next to Pep, I will always have that opinion of him because he's done nothing to prove otherwise. So, yeah, for me... Go and learn your trade somewhere else and then come to us, maybe, if you do it. Um, so, yeah. What about Enrique? Didn't he take the Spain job again? And, and no, I didn't want him either, man. I didn't want him. Um, why? Somebody asked me, I can't find it. Somebody asked me why I'm underwhelmed with Allegri. Um, because he, he's done it in a one-team league with the best team in it. <laughs> like He's never won in Europe with that team, who happened to have one of the best squads in Europe. Um, I know they lost to Barcelona, 
Um, you're a plastic fan. Well, thanks for watching a plastic fan, mate. I hope you're enjoying the content, princess. Um, do stick a like on the video and enjoy your Friday, babes. <coughs> we need structural surgery and stability, says Shay. Um, well, yeah, listen, the, the problem is, right, there's been so many changes at this football club recently that maybe they changed too much too quick. Yeah, in terms of all the staff they've let go, in terms of the man the previous manager going, and now obviously we've changed this one, but there was maybe I think 80 people that have come and gone over that that transitional period. I think that might be too many. And you know, I think that you do need to get rid of a lot of these players. Let's let's have that right, yeah. Because these players are so overhyped by our fans, it is unbelievable. The amount of people that want Bellerin as captain. He ain't even good enough to play right back at the club. Let's be real. He is not good enough. Yeah. If we want to go and challenge for trophies, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> if we want to challenge for trophies, get rid of him because he ain't going to be the right back to help you. You know, Tierney, I think, will be on the other side. I think he's a very good defender. Yeah. And I think he offers a lot more going forward than, than any of anyone in that squad in them positions. Right. Then when you go through the back line, like, are any of them defenders good enough? Nope, not one of them. Not one of them centre-backs is good enough. The only defender in that team that is good enough out of that whole squad is Tierney, and we brought him in the summer. <laughs> like, that's embarrassing. Then you go into midfield. How many of them midfielders are good enough to challenge for a title? Probably none of them. Literally, probably none of them. Yeah? Then you go to the strike force. Pepe, um, Laka, Abba, Saka, Martinelli. Really? Is that going to win you a title? I'm not so sure. Listen, Aubameyang's a, a very good goal scorer, a very good goal scorer. But like I've said umpteen times, when he don't score, he does nothing. Go and watch Aguero, go and watch Harry Kane. Because when they ain't got the ball, they're running around getting it back. Yeah, he don't. He ain't got the work rate to win us a title. He's got the goals. He ain't got the work rate. Um, whereas it's kind of ironic, actually, because Lacazette's got the work rate, but don't score enough goals. So like, it's like put them both together. We'd have the best striker on the planet. Um, so, yeah, so many awful board decisions. Another to come. Afternoon to you, Peter. Thank you for that, mate. Appreciate that, bruv. <coughs> I've still got a frog in my throat. Um, I hope you have a good weekend, mate. Yeah, And I think you're right as well. There is too many dodgy decisions that have happened at this football club. And let's not forget here, a lot of this was in place before the new regime came in. Yeah, and a lot of these players were here before that happened as well. So not that I'm pinning that on the previous one because they're gone. I'm just making a point that a lot of these players were here and not good enough before anyone turned up to replace the previous manager and regime. <coughs> so... You know, you've got to look at that and say, well, listen, this has been spiralling out of control for a long, long time and never been addressed because the, the, the board just didn't care. Um, I think they do slightly care more now. Um, but it ain't like Chelsea's owner or, or Man City's owner. You know, they, they're not going to pop managers just like that. Or no, Even Man United have fallen from grace, yeah? And they're hanging on to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Why? You're telling me there's not a better coach out there that can make Man United better? And they're keeping him. They're keeping him because he's a bitch and he's cheap and he will listen to everything he says that they say to him because he's just happy to be a Man United manager. Yeah, the fact and reality is Man United shouldn't be moving like that, the same as we shouldn't be moving like that. You know, we, we kept that guy in a job for way too long. He should have been sacked after the Europa League final. Yeah, and at that point, you then go and get whoever you want. Instead, we've done it halfway through a season. Not even halfway. We're a third of the way through the season. And now it's going to look like... Um, it's going to look like a panic. Well it, well, it has been a panic. He's fully panicked into sacking him. And now we've got to go and get a manager. If we want a spirit of Santo, we've gone for a manager that's managing another team. So now we've got to pay compensation to them. We've got to pay him and his staff. We've had to pay Emery and his staff compensation. <coughs> and it's like, why didn't we just go and get Jose Mourinho, man? I swear down. Uh, Tyrone, thank you, mate. Um, for your donation, bruv. Um, really sorry I didn't work out. For, it didn't work out for Emery, but his time was up. Um, his time was fully up, man. And and this is the thing, like, I'm I'm not I'm not even angry at him. Yeah, I'm not even angry at him because it ain't his fault at that point. Yeah. I stopped getting angry at him after Palace. Because after that, it was then the board. Yeah. Well, not so much the board, it was Raul. Yeah, because the rest of them wanted him gone. 
but Raul kept him in that job. So I stopped getting angry at Emery. He looked lost out there last night. They basically left him out there to hang last night. Yeah, I personally think they already told him he was gone, but he has to manage this game where he ain't getting all of his payoff or something. Like that. I don't know. Um, but that's why I think I think they told him that he's gone and um, he's got to manage the game. And he looked clueless last night. He looked, I, 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 did, I wouldn't say I feel sorry for him. Um, the only thing I would say I felt sorry for is the fact that they hung him. They left him out to dry too long. <clears throat> they should have put him out of his misery weeks ago. Uh, messed up the super chat last time. Love your channel and thanks for making watching Arsenal tolerable with your watch alongs. Thanks for the kind words, Jack, and your donation. And I'm fully going to come to Australia one day. Do you know what puts me off Australia is the length of the flight, bruv. It's like a whole day. Um, so, yeah, it's like literally a whole day to go to Australia. Right, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, Mark T, thank you very much. What is your honest opinion on VAR so far? Um, load of crap, if I'm being honest. Not, It's not um, a matter of fact. It's a matter of an opinion. And all you're doing is taking that opinion away from the guy who's actually refereeing the game. Um, so, yeah, <clears throat> Josh and Raul in because he was... Josh got Raul in because he was similar to Ivan. Um, well, I don't know about that, Charlie, but we're, we're, it's looking that way, isn't it? Let's be real. Um, it has taken him weeks and weeks too long to sack him, meaning we've missed out on one of the most decorated managers in world football and let him walk off to Tottenham. <coughs> but yeah, um, I'm going to get myself out of here. I will be back later on, um, five o'clock unless there's a manager announced before then. Do drive the likes through the roof for me, please. I would appreciate that. Subscribe if you're new. Um, and also, Facebook and Instagram links are in the description. So, yeah, go and do that. I'm going to go and have a shower now. Literally rolled out of bed to do this stream. And, uh, yeah, I'm not wired, Moses. I'm just tired because I was up till 5 a.m. uploading a daily transfer update. And then, yeah, I literally went to bed, woke up, and done this stream after making a coffee. So, yeah, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to go and wake myself up and have a bath or a shower or something. Thanks to everyone who watched live. appreciate that. Thanks to everyone in the chat as well. Um, I will be back at five. Laters, peeps.